Hello, it's your host Matt McCann from The Pinch Hitter, and welcome to episode 3 of The Pinch Hitter. We have many topics to go over today, let's get to it. Before we get on to the, yesterday's games, let's talk about, I actually wanted to let you guys know about two things. First off, Pedro Alvarez, one of the Orioles' best home run hitters, has just been up for assignment, and they somehow they put up, they ring up Caleb Joseph and another prospect. Now the second topic is big. Not only for me, but for MLB fans that truly know Kelvin Herrera. Yesterday, Kelvin Herrera has just been traded to the Washington Nationals. Now Kelvin Herrera is a tremendous bullpen pitcher and for him to go to the Nationals is a big upgrade for the Nationals, but a big loss for the Kansas City Royals. Happy birthday to the world famous rapper, Macklemore. Now let's get on to yesterday's scores. Let's get on to yesterday's games. So the Phillies barely beat the Cardinals six to five. The, Pir- the Pirates barely beat the Brewers one nothing. The Yankees, beat the Nationals 4-2, the Indians beat the White Sox 6-2, and that was all the game, well, no, it's not, never mind. The Astros beat the Rays 5-4, the Rangers beat the Royals 6-3, the Mets demolished the Rockies 12-2, the Diamondbacks beat the Angels 7-4. The Marlins beat the Giants 5-4. And those were all the games for yesterday. Now, many MLB fans know that Manny Machado will most likely be traded by the end of the year or at the trade deadline, or somebody will pick him up by free agent market market see. I don't know if that's a word, but we're just going to go on. <laughs> um, but nobody has really noticed... Jacob DeGrom. Now, actually, a lot of teams are in market for Jacob DeGrom, and he's a really big possibility, so I would just warn you guys to don't be um, surprised when Jacob DeGrom gets traded soon. Now, some of you may know about this not too frankly ago, but Miguel Cabrera is out for the whole entire season. Now, he... This completely lowers his chance of him getting 3,000 hits or going to the MLB. The only way I would say, in my opinion, that he can make it to the Hall of Fame is for the next one or two years in a row to have an absolute MVP season. I'm talking like Aaron Judge and Mike Trout combined, two years in a row, if he wants to have a shot. But if he wasn't injured, he definitely could have had the, been capable of 3,000 hits. So I was just informing you guys that Miguel Cabrera will most likely not have go to the MLB Hall of Fame unless if he doesn't have an MVP season the next two years. But and that he also got injured. So there. I'm really sorry this was such a short video, but I have nothing else there's on the news today. Thank you much so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. And this episode is sponsored by Rolex. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Matt McCann signing off, Pinch Hitter, Episode 3. Goodbye.